Here's a trinomial we factored in the previous lesson using trial and error. Well, we're going to look at a method in this lesson that does not involve trial and error. It involves something called splitting the middle term. But there's still a lot of work to do. It just doesn't involve trial and error. We start by taking the coefficient of x squared, the 12, and the constant, the 15, and multiplying them. And 12 times 15 is 180. And now we're going to list all of the factors of 180. Well, there's lots of pairs. Some of them, of course, can be discounted quickly. But for this first example, we're going to show them all. And there they are. And what we're looking for is the pair of factors that adds up to 28. Well, that's not hard to find. It's right there, 10 times 18. And now comes the splitting of the middle term. The 28x gets rewritten as 10x plus 18x. And because of the commutative property, you can write that in either order. The work will look a little different if you write the 18x first, but your final factored form will be the same. Now we're going to use factoring by grouping. So for the first two terms, the common factor is 2x. And for the second two terms, the common factor is 3. And then if you recall factoring by grouping, we check this binomial. Well, this pair of binomials, one came from the first two terms and the other came from the third and fourth terms. Well, they match. That's what we're after. So now we factor out the common binomial, and there's our factored form. The binomial 6x plus 5 times the binomial 2x plus 3 is equal to the trinomial 12x squared plus 28x plus 15. Let's try another. We have 12x squared minus 31x minus 15. Well, this time it's 12 and negative 15 to make negative 180. We'll just take all of those pairs that we wrote in the previous problem and write them again. But here's the difference. It's a negative times a positive, but if you know anything about negatives and positives, you know that when you add a negative and a positive, it's somewhat like finding the difference. Or you may have learned that when you add a negative number and a positive number, you really use subtraction to get the answer. So what we're looking for in this list is a pair of numbers that have a difference of 31. And there's our pair, 5 and 36. And since the 31 is negative, that'll make the 36 the negative number in the pair and the 5 the positive number. So when we split the middle term, it looks like this. What used to be a negative 31x is now a negative 36x added to a positive 5x. I like to write the negative one first. I find it's a little less likely that I'll make a sign error if I split it as a positive and a negative to write the negative term first. So now, using factoring by grouping, I find the common factor of the first two, which is 12x, and a common factor of the second two, which is 5. Then I look at the binomials that were created, and they match. That's good. I factor out the common binomial, and there's my factored form. x minus 3 times the binomial 12x plus 5. Well, here's yet another example. We're going to take 3 times 16 and get 48. But rather than write them all down, we know that 1 times 48 is way too big and 2 times 24 is way too big. So I'm going to get right to it because I'm good with my times tables. I know that 4 times 12 is 48 and 4 plus 12 is 16. So I don't need to write them all out. I got it right away. Perhaps I might start with 6 times 8 first and get 14 and then that would lead me to go to 4 times 12. But there it is. I split the 16x into 4x plus 12x. I factor out the common factor. In the first two, it's just x. In the second two, it's 4. I check the 3x plus 4 matches in both the first two and the second two. So there's my binomials. 3x plus 4 times the binomial x plus 4. And that's the factored form for 3x squared plus 16x plus 16. In this example, the final term is negative, the 70. But the middle term is positive, the 37x. But we still know that that means it's a negative times a positive to make 70. So we write 3 times negative 70 to get negative 210. Again, we don't need to do 1 times 210 or 2 times 105. We start with 10 times 21. That's 210. But the difference of 10 and 21 is only 11. So we're going to try 5 times 42. 
and the difference of 5 and 42 is 37. And once again, since the 37 is positive, that makes the 42 the positive number in this pair, and the 5 will be the negative number. So let's split the middle term. And this time, we're going to write the positive part of our split, the 42x, first. And we'll show what needs to be done to make sure we don't make a sign error. Well, the first thing I'm going to do to avoid a sign error is rewrite it as add the opposite. And so then, when I factor the first two, that's not the tough part. That's 3x. But the common factor in the second two, if I only brought a 5 out, I'd be left with negative x plus negative 14. But I want it to be x plus 14. So I factor out a negative 5, as shown. And that gives me a pair of matching binomials, x plus 14. I factor that out. And then I change the 3x plus negative 5 to the more common form, 3x minus 5. And there's my factored form for the top trinomial. Very quickly, I'll show you what it looks like if I had written the negative 5x first, as shown in the bottom left, 3x squared minus 5x plus 42x minus 70. And now we've split the middle term and wrote it in reverse order. So instead of 42x minus 5x, we have negative 5x plus 42x. And on the first, we just factor out the x. And on the second two, we factor out the 14. And then instead of x plus 14 as our common binomial factor, we have 3x minus 5. But that's OK. Our final answer is in reverse order. But our two binomials are the same. 3x minus 5 is one binomial, and x plus 14 is another. So we've looked at this problem two different ways, but we got the same factored form for the trinomial 3x squared plus 37x minus 70. And we'll do one more example. Here the third term is 45, a positive, and the middle term is a negative. Well, we take 8 times 45, and we get 360. There's, of course, lots of factors of 360. And because the 45 is positive, it means that that's two negative numbers that multiply to make 45. So we're going to look for numbers that multiply to make 360 that add up to negative 42. Well, we start with an obvious one, 10 and 36. Actually, negative 10 and negative 36. Well, they add up to negative 46, so we're close. So we're going to try another pair, negative 12 and negative 30. And they do add up to negative 42. So that's the one we want. We didn't need to write them all down. We very quickly skipped 1 times 360 and 2 times 180 and 4 times 90 because we knew they were way off the charts. So we were able to get the two that we were looking for, the negative 12 and the negative 30, on our second try. Now we're going to split the middle term. And since both parts of the middle term are negative, it doesn't really matter which one we write first. And we're going to have to be careful when we factor out a negative factor, which I'll show you in a moment. But first, I'm going to rewrite our subtractions as adding the opposite. It helps me avoid sign errors. And now I factor out the common factors. I get a common factor of 4x for the first two terms. And I factored out a negative 15 of the second two terms, leaving me with 2x plus negative 3 in both cases. They match. And then I have 2x plus negative 3 times the binomial 4x plus negative 15, more commonly written as shown, 2x minus 3 and 4x minus 15, which is the factored answer for the trinomial at the top. When factoring polynomials of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, first find the product of a and c. Then look for two numbers that have a product of a times c and also a sum of b. Use those two numbers to split the middle term up into two terms that add up to the middle term. Finally, use factoring by grouping to factor the polynomial. 